Alrighty, so here is what I would do, kind of a quick workflow for doing some like ball joints. We can just use Suzanne here. So I'm just gonna take her head and just grab, well, let me turn on my shortcut so anyone can see what I'm doing. Just click on Suzanne, G and Z, and just bring her up a little bit. And then I'm gonna create a sphere, Shift A, add a sphere, a UV sphere. And let's increase the radius to maybe 10. That looks good. And then we're going to add a cylinder. So shift A, we'll add a cylinder. And again, we can do the radius at 10. And then we can just drag this depth, you know, say if this was like a neck or a finger or whatever. And we'll just do G and Z and bring that down. And I kind of want to make that, well, no, that's fine. So we'll just do G and Z. Maybe take this sphere into edit mode and scale it up just a little bit like that. That way it's not poking out. So now we've got uh, kind of like a, a ball and a neck and Suzanne here. So what I would do next is probably just add this kind of finger element or the neck to this with just shift and click and then control plus to boolean that together. And we can also do control or you know shift click those together and control P to parent them that way if we move the ball around we'll get the uh, everything will move together and then what I would also do is add a, another sphere so I'll just click on the sphere layer and do shift D to duplicate the sphere right here and just escape so it's right on top of itself and you can see here it's sphere you could even call that like sphere cut because we're going to use it as like a cutout um, and then what we can do is uh, you know we can delete this the bool tool on that we don't need that and we can add a solidify modifier and uh, for the offset we want it to go outwards so I'll just do offset of one make sure you've got both of these checked and if we bring Suzanne's head back down here then we can take our sphere cut here, shift click on our Suzanne, do control minus, and that should give us a very, it's almost hard to see, but say if we click on our sphere cut here, we can change the percentage here. So, you know, for, for things to kind of fit together or like print and plays, you could do like 0.3, and you can see you've got a kind of like a gap here, a little crack which is great, 0.5, you know, if you really wanted to do some, some space there. And what I'd also do is, uh, you know, take your sphere cut, hold shift and put it on the sphere. So that way, if you are, you know, moving this around, the cut, you know, is gonna stay with uh, your ball joint there. Or if you were, you know, gonna rotate it around, you would be able to easily make those adjustments on the fly. Or if you take your your sphere cut right here, you can always make that tolerance a little tighter, or you know, really big, depending on what you want to do. So it keeps everything super flexible and you know, nice. So I'm just gonna leave it on 0.5, but that's kind of a workflow I would do for uh, doing ball joints and things like that. And I'll go ahead and save this on my desktop. And there we go. So hopefully that helps and uh, let me know if y'all have any other questions.